Hello, welcome to the latest in our video series, looking at how you can get the most out of the Factory Master system. In this video, I'll be taking you through the software's MRP features. We'll start with an assembly structure. If I enter the MRP name here, you'll see I've set up a demo assembly. Here, I've got three components at the top level. A fitting bolt that was brought in from the supplier and two sub-assemblies. The chevron indicates that there are components below that sub-assembly. Here we have some more fitting bolts as well as sub-assembly 1A and 1B. Under each one of those there are more components right down to raw materials. You'll see we can drill down to each level. This one is assembly level 4, for example. On sub-assembly 1B, we have a similar tree structure, and you'll see the components here. Some people like to have a preview of the assembly structure, so I'll show you using the trial kitting tool. I'll create a new kit to look at this MRP item. Let's say we want to make 10 components. This generates a nicely indented colour-coded tree of the assembly. As we move down the structure, we can see their stock available. And it even shows how many components we can trial kit. In this case, there are 250 fitting bolts in stock. 100 have been issued to fully kit this item. We can also partially kit that item, and then further down we run out of bolts, so are unable to allocate any. This view is really useful in showing exactly which components are available and what needs to be ordered. From that example, I'm going to create a works order to manufacture our product. So, I'll choose the MRP item here and I'm going to make 10 of them for the 10th of November. Here we have the works order and we can print the job card for this item. On the top level, there is a barcoded route card showing components along with the different operations and times. The sub-assemblies we saw earlier can either be created through MRP or as sub-works orders. I'm now going to run the MRP to generate all the information we need for this product. I'll apply the start dates and minimum stock and have a look at what comes up. This box shows my entire order book and works orders. You'll see it pauses as it goes down the assembly tree, working out what's available and what's required. If I were to print the whole report, it would amount to something like 450 pages. But I've done a subset of it, which just shows the MRP items. Here is an example preview page. But if I minimise this, I'll show you the preview for the item we've been looking at in this example. Now here, I have a subset of the MRP items. We have the fitting bolts and we can see there is already demand from assembly. Of course, we haven't actually ordered any bolts yet, but the demand has come from the works order for the demo assembly, which you'll see on the next page under Manufactured Parts. 
In fact, this is the only sales order I have in this. Everything else has been generated as a byproduct of this assembly. So here we have all the different components. The dates when each one is required depending on their lead times. 21 days, 7 days, 14 days. We can also have minimum stock levels if we want to keep any stock, so we can satisfy production demand. I wanted to show you this section to give you a date view of when the requirements have come in. In reality, you'd use the Raise Work Orders tool, which I will demonstrate in the next video. Welcome to our second MRP video for Factory Master. We'll pick up where we left off, looking at the Raise Work Orders tool. Here, we can raise both works and purchase orders for this MRP item. To start with, I'll click on Works Order, which looks through the entire MRP run. Then I'm going to look at my demo date to set the Product Group MRP. As I scroll down, you'll see it shows the suggested requirements. If I'm happy with all of those, I can create a works order straight away. But, as the buyer, I can also change the quantities, so I might decide to split this one down into two lots of 10, or use 30 and keep 15 in stock. I'm going to create the set of works order. And from that, I can print all the job cards to go with them if I want to. Let's take a look at the purchase orders. Once again, it will look through the entire MRP to find the items that need to be bought. Looking at the MRP product group, you'll see that we have the requirements coming in. As the fitting bolt was used in just about every sub-assembly, you'll see there is a lot of demand on different dates. It's also rounded up to the buying unit of each component. So I could order 750 here, and get rid of the 250 down here to reduce it to two orders. On the next item, I could order 400 here and get rid of these requirements. We can then create the purchase orders by clicking Raise the Order. From here, I'll zoom in and view that purchase order, which I can print and email out to our suppliers. As this is a demo, we'll just preview it for now. Here, you can see a preview of that document. So, that completes the second video. If you want to find out more about how Factory Master can make ordering materials quicker and more accurate, please give one of our experts a call on 0845 345 3300.